Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. I hope you're all really well. Um, this is my giveaway, um, as promised. Um, this is because I reached 100 subbies and uh, I've actually gone over now, which is just wonderful. Um, I just want to really thank, again, everybody that subscribed to my channel um, and you leave such wonderful comments and it's so encouraging. Um, this is a new... Um, art thing that I've got into or craft thing that I've got into and I've only been making journals and bits and pieces related to it since last May and it's just completely taken over my life as you understand. Um, so anyway this is my giveaway and as promised this is a altered bag. It's made from a craft bag. It's plain on the back. And I must try and keep all this in frame because I've got a new tripody thing set up here and it's a bit way wobbly. There we go. Anyway, um, this is an image that I got from Artie Mays. Um, she's recently put up a journaling card kit called Victorian Beauties, which are of um, children. And she's also putting up a new one called Female Beauties. And in this kit, she's got um, beautiful ladies, all Victorian or, you know, looking Victorian. So uh, I will put the Etsy link underneath in the description. So I've layered up some vintage music paper and this web and doilies, the paper doilies. And then there's bits of um, crocheted doily, which is vintage. And there's a little burlap butterfly up here. Around the handles I've tied some sari silk. It wasn't a bow, but I've got myself in such a state trying to undo it because it's very tatty. Because um, this is my sixth video trying to do this. Hopefully the last one. So I've just left it on there like that and I'll take it off in a minute. And on here I've got a little bulb pin with memories and there's a little bead that's glued on this twine ribbon. And then you've got some bling and of course cheesecloth throughout and as promised inside we have goodies now I'm going to see if I can do this without actually taking that ribbon off yes I can this is a bit different than um, what you saw me make for Karen O'Reilly the other day so there's the bag I'll just pop that there Okay, so first of all, in the giveaway, we've got some lace and trim, and uh, I've used a, a paper collection. I've just dropped my piece of paper, but I've got the stamp collection here, and it's Stampiri, Stampiria, Stampiri, and it's old lace, and uh, this is beautiful scrapbooking paper. I've used a lot of this. It's all lingerie type corsety things, and browns and creams and vintage it's really lovely so I've actually used this um, to make up most of the components of this giveaway so like I said you've got some white lace here this is a trim um, it's upside down but it's got little birds and bits and pieces on then you've got some like a creamy coffee stained looking I think I did stain it but I'm not entirely sure crochet trim and some of this French um, fabric here that I've made into like a ribbon as well so you get that you get one of my tags this is Artie Mays's picture um, from her woodland walk kit she had um, pages with flowers and things on so I've used this one here which is the ragged robin and I've embellished it with some punched out butterflies and some bling under here it says do amazing things and up here we've got some appliques and cheesecloth and a bit of the um, vintage crochet doily that I've used throughout this giveaway. Here is another tag. Um, I love making these tags. And this is one of the pictures from Andrea's new journaling card kit that she's um, got coming out today, I believe. Um, so like I said, I will link it in. Um, I think you get four pages and on each page there are four images of ladies and with the children one, the Victorian 
beauties, you get the same amount. So what's that? Four fours are, help me out guys, 16. Is that right? Four, eight, yeah, 16 images. So this again has been layered up, um, made into a giant tag, been layered up with um, a doily and cheesecloth and this is some of the doily that I've been using, the crocheted one. We've got sorry silk up here. Please, lighting, light up. It's quite dark today so I've got some lights and lamps on here and uh, there's some of this trim here as well and uh, this little flower has been cut off like a table runner that's vintage. And there's a little bell on there so you get that one. And then I've also got a little jelly bag. I don't know really why I put the washi tape on, but I've done it up as a bow with some twine. And basically what you get in here is oh, some bits and pieces. So you've got little embellishments and there's a cameo there, um, different paper clips, little duck. There's a teddy bear bead, there's a um, snowflake, a little clock embellishment, just some little metal bits and pieces and goodies. There's a little shoe there, just to um, add another little something to this giveaway. I don't know a lot about you, but I love it when I get um, happy mail and people have included things like that. So that's that. And then this here, it's a little, um, no, I think it's right. It's a post-it note holder. Um, basically, you just open it here. And inside, you've got your post-it notes. Um, I'm sorry about the shocking pink. It was the only colour I've got. <laughs> I love shocking pink. Um, but I got this idea because um, there's a lady on Etsy that I buy... Some of my seam binding from she dyes it into different colors and uh, she sent me something along these lines um, as a complimentary gift and I thought what a lovely idea so I thought I'd make something like this for the giveaway so I've made it with card and on top of the card I've covered it with vintage music paper there's a doily that's been wrapped around and then this um, applique has been glued on top which is one of my favorites so you get that as well. And last but not least, if I just make some room here, um, this is like a little journal goodie bag book that I've made out of um, some paper bags and some cardstock, which is from the old lace kit that I've just shown you. Um, the inspiration for this came from Ali Commons, Commons because she sent me something very similar for Christmas this year, which was lovely. And Kathy Cadeal, um, she sent me a journal um, which she made from some bags and glassing bags and things and it was beautiful. So I wanted to make something like that for the giveaway. So on here I've got one of Andrea's images that came from the um, Woodland Walk kit. And again it's got vintage music paper underneath and cheesecloth. And there's a butterfly here that I've punched out of that um, vintage old lace paper pack and it's got some um, embellishment beady blingy things up there and then on the back there's my hummingbird tails and this ticket um, cut out was give it, gifted to me by Ali and that was from Christmas and on the back I've put um, one of the well I've cut out part of the paper and again put it on the music paper so we've got it's tied with a ribbon I mean you can put this in your journal and just keep paper in it or whatever you want really um, I've got to show you this ribbon can you see the ribbon that was gifted to me by um, Janet Hicks and it is just beautiful it's like leads running through so open up the first page and here I've made a little notebook and again my usual style of layering up different bits and pieces for a collage this is actually muslin and this is some of um, a vintage uh, trim that I got I think it was cut off around a tablecloth or something it was sent to me and there's a bulb pin here with a white 
white clear button and a bit of the old vintage crochet doily and um, you open it up and it's just got different paper in there there's square paper there's lined and it's all been coffee dyed and plain so that's that and then this is a little um, ticket thing from um, a tattered dream I bought this from Denise in her shop and I've just layered up some cheesecloth and punched out a couple butterflies again in that paper pack. And this die cut is from a pack of die cuts I've got. And I think it's from the works, but I can't remember. But I just thought it looked nice in here. So in it goes. On this side, pinned to the page, if I can get it off gently. I've got um, a birdhouse a bird with its cage die cut um, the actual die was from the works and then this is one of the square doilies from Denise's shop and uh, I've made a little envelope with it and in here I've got I won't take it all out but I've got um, some die cuts from the same paper pack um, some tickets there's some bling that is what I've used throughout this little giveaway. And there's also some um, flowers that I've cut out for you to layer up. There's three different sizes um, to make some flowers. So that's in there. And there's a bigger size, oh, bigger size, um, blingy, stickery thingy. So that's that. And on the next page, I've um, this is um, actually from, um, I can't remember where I got this from now, but it's one of my images I've already got, and I've made it into a journaling card, and it's been backed onto coffee dyed um, paper, and I've scrunched it all up before I flattened it all out from the oven, and it's got cheesecloth, and this is actually a vintage piece of trim that goes around a tablecloth, so that's that, and where is the safety pin has got the same sari silk on very tatty that I've used on the tie for the bag and then over here we've got a little tuck spot and I've used the paper again from that paper pad and these are a couple little pieces of ephemera from um, Tsunami Rose and they've just been backed onto coffee paper and hanging up the top here is um, a little collection of teeny weeny tags so I've put them on, basically I've got a circle that I've punched out of the kit, cut a slit in it and I've folded these down. So I've kept the strings long and they're ideal to use for anything really. Little tags to put on your journaling cards or your bigger tags or whatever you want to do. So you've got them. And then on this page, this is a... Bead, a pearl rose, a uh, rose pearl flower applique, and that is just paper clipped on, so you can take that off and use it. And this is one of the little tags from the paper pack, but I've kept that side like that because it's then up to you which side you want to use, um, and you might not want to put any paper on it at all. And that's one of the cutouts of corsets, and people that know me know that I love my corsets and anything burlesque. Which reminds me, hello Sagita, um, I still absolutely love my journal that you made for me. <laughs> um, and here's another little butterfly that I've cut out or punched out and it's been layered up on this doily and this um, damask style bag is what's made the pocket. And then on this page we've got another journaling tag and this is from the Victorian Beauties journaling cards that um, Andrea's got for sale. And again, I've used some of the um, vintage doily, some applique here, some bling, and that's been backed onto one of the pieces of the um, the lace, um, what's it called, old lace paper pack. And I've kept it like that because I thought that was lovely. So it looks like a postcard. And then last but not least, in here, I've included some of this trim. Um, there's a few people that I've gifted this to and I do get people asking me where I get it. Um, I get it from eBay and it is a company in China and it will take about a month to get here but it's so worth the wait. It's so beautiful and looks lovely for pockets and things. 
so I've put a meter of that in there as well and then that's the back so there we go that is um, the giveaway um, I hope you're tempted to enter what I would like you to do is first of all be over 18 and I would like you to subscribe give me a thumbs up so I know that you're there and uh, what I'd like to know is what is your favorite theme of journal um, I like quite a cross section of um, themes I like vintage and um, nature um, and there's lots of different things you could probably think of and also um, tag in somebody on YouTube or junk journal junkies or somebody that you know that is an inspiration to you that their work is an inspiration to you so that um, we can all check out these different people on their channels and get some ideas for making journals or cards or bags or whatever so if that's okay um, be over 18 thumbs up and then let me know somebody who inspires you and link their channel in or just put their channel up if they haven't got a channel it doesn't matter if it's your mum that's absolutely fine it's just nice to know your inspiration and what is your favorite theme or type of journal so there we go guys um i'm gonna go now i've talked enough good luck everybody and uh, i will keep this open until monday the 26th of march which I believe is a week Monday. And then what I will do is um, I'll put everybody's name in a hat and uh, I'll pull it out on video and then whoever wins it will get the gift. Um, this is open internationally. So my friends in different countries, America, Australia, Europe, wherever you are, if you'd like to enter, please do because I'm happy to post anywhere. So there we go. Okay, guys, so uh, have a good week and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.